I got hit twice within two years. Just walking across, Just the, street. Walking across the street. Improving safety for everyone along a busy corridor between Columbus and Bexley. Both cities are working together on this project. Hundreds of crashes were reported in the area of East Livingston Avenue over the past five years or so. The proposed improvements would focus on a little more than a mile and a half. NBC 4's Karina Chung live tonight to tell us the ideas presented for East Livingston Avenue. Karina, a lot of concern from folks. Yes, Carrie, and East Livingston Avenue is very close to I-70. You can see it here over here. There are off and on ramps in this area, so it's pretty busy now. There were several ideas presented tonight. The main goal is focused on slowing drivers down. East Livingston Avenue. It's a corridor that Columbus and Bexley cities both share. Early in the morning, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you can get hit crossing the street. The two cities are trying to improve the portion between Nelson and James Roads. It's a little more than a mile and a half. Speed is definitely an issue. I see about three or four accidents every day. The consultation group for the cities presented options Wednesday night. The proposed commercial side would maintain five lanes but would have new elements like wider sidewalks, potted plants and benches. The residential side proposal is to narrow traffic to one lane on each side with a center turning lane. Later down the road, medians would be installed. Nobody should live in fear of a car coming through their house, right? I mean, I feel like that's a very basic starting point. Bexley Mayor Ben Kessler says safety has been an issue for years. The consulting group looked back four years on vehicle crash data and five years on pedestrian data. It found 652 crashes, 199 involving injuries or death, and 437 instances dealing with property damage. And over time, it's kind of become just a, a busy uh, highway almost uh, for traffic. So I think I think the goal here is to reclaim a neighborhood. And the neighborhood isn't Bexley, it's Berwick, it's Eastmore, it's Bexley, it's Driving Park, it's areas east and west. It will take time to implement changes, but public input will play a role in the final plan for the cities. It's critical that the two sides agree um, have a shared vision and then together we can implement it. And so this is a really important plan. And there will be one more work section to finalize what gets sent to Columbus and Bexley. The goal is to have a final product to vote on in early 2022. So only a couple months away. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.